so again I just cut two of five and a half by seven seven of an eighth inch or 14 by 20 centimeters and I scored half inch same as we did twice earlier all right so um what shall we do okay on this one I want it to be as flat as possible because we have already charms on the left side so as flat as possible um, what shall we do if you want to make it as flat as possible well at least I am gonna cut out one more piece of these ones um, I think I like this, this little line right here. So I am gonna cut these. Let's see what I can do with that. Love these little ones. But I think it would be nice if we use this somehow on a pocket or something. Just a simple sideway pocket. Or this way, so it don't fall off the album. This little pocket. Hmm, I think it's nice. So first of all, I'm gonna okay, cut so these out. And we cut out so a piece that is two inch wide. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. two inch wide, but I also like. Two and a half. Let's just cut a two and a half piece of strip. And let's just make first a flippity flop. So we have the correct size to do this. Flippity flop here. And then we just put this on this side and then here, make a mark. So then I can cut it shorter. Because normally I would not have a flippity flop for the bottom of a pocket. But since that this is on the edge, I do like to make a flippity flop pocket at the bottom. So normally I would not do this. But for this occasion, I'll make an exception. So I am gonna make a floppy flop at the bottom. Just like that. So it is a little nicer. So at the end, we have a two inch that will fit these nicely. So that is what I am going to attach. Watch where your hinge is. Your hinge needs to be on the left side. So now we are going to attach our pocket with a hinge on the other side. Well, it's, oh yeah, is it called a hinge? Yes, it's called stopper hinge. All right. <laughs> Glue it on. Glue it on the right spot where we just have it all ready set go 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 yes all right so now do we need some background if we want to add these tiles let's call it tiles on here I think I am going to do that, but then just the one that's bl the blankest one. <laughs> so that will be the blue. So I'm going to use the blue as the background. So I am going to cut this nicely. Fits. So we do have a background because otherwise I think it's a little mm, boring. Oh, well, it's not boring, but just a little that I don't like to see such big black gaps so that is why 
I am gonna do a nice back ground with this blue. Alright, glue this on. Here we go. Now before you're gonna do this, you perhaps like to search for a nice background for this one. So what do you think about... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about... Oh my gosh, which one? Which one do you like? Oh, let me just flip this this side. Um, these are all not fillable. Um, can use this one, but then I don't like the color combination of that. Uh, we can use this one, which I actually pretty love. But then the images are, I think, a little lost. So I don't want to use something. I think I love this one. I definitely love this one. Alright, so I am going to cut this piece. And now I need to cut it fully. But also not necessarily. A little in. Okay, so the first cut I am going to make is this cut right here. No really, because it's the same size. As your page, so that is not a big deal. If I now see where that little oh, there it is. Yep, 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 yep. Here we go. Smooch the edges and then glue it in. Sometimes I cut it just a little too small, but yes, I love this combination. And then with the brown fits perfectly. All right, so I did cut these with a little white edge. So let's see where we start. Well. Let's just start with the bottom one. Nicely. All edges round. Okay, then I'm gonna start with the top one. with these nice little tiles cool yes 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 nice 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 what do you think? Simple, but yep, I love it. Cool. All right, so that was the first one. We still can do first the background, um, which I love again 
using some of the leftover pieces so yep why not i see right here one that will fit perfectly on this small page and just go along and search for the other ones this one will fit perhaps too if i start with this one and then cut this one the same size that will be nicely see how easy it can go you don't have to think that much just Search in your little basket if you have these in your little basket. I really can recommend some. This little basket, and for this occasion, <laughs> it was a mistake of making it war. So I thought, oh, this is a nice basket. I think it still needs some decoration though. So I still have. I really love this little one. It's even better than than the small basket right here because now I have everything nicely flat so I'm definitely going to decorate that as soon as I have time my girl was really asking how long this project is still needed because she is super 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 nervous on how you people like this paper or hate it or <laughs> so um, so she is super 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 nervous uh, well, me too, actually, a little bit. Um, I'm just very curious how you all think about these papers. And I definitely absolutely love the color combinations. And I was a little bit worried if the color combination would work. But yeah, I think it's, it's pretty and it's still manly, I believe. It still fits for a man album. The colors are definitely not feminine at all. Um, even with this wallpaper, it's it's not feminine at all. So yeah, I love it. So now for this one, you can choose: um, do you like small ones or big one? But I think it will fit a perfect size for a big one. So I'm just going in for the pieces that I still have bigger. So. All are just not too deep, but 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 we do have plenty to choose from. Okay, let me check, check, check all my other bigger pages. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. So it's also a small one also can add something like this that would fit perfectly by the way so why not use this one but yes it took me a little longer than normal to finish this up and it's still not finished but I do my best but you can't rush it and yeah that's always the case that I I always tell you guys, it needs time, so you, don't, you can't just rush this to finish this off. But these pages are pretty easy to make, at least I hope I made them as simple as I can get. In my eyes these pages are pretty much, oh, why did I just cut? The wrong, oh yeah, I see right here. All right, so then I'm just going to cut it on my eye. There we go. Here we go. So it's a nice spot for photo and yeah, simple but effective. Nice place for photo or for a nice booklet. That's also a possibility. Okay guys, so I added <laughs> this page in here. I think these two cute fits perfectly to each other quiet and simple so let's go to the back of this one first before I 
put it all in. Still have loads of space. So that's cool. So let's go to the last page. Um, what shall we do on the last page? Well, I do have another charm that I definitely want to check it out. How that will work, perhaps as a swing tab. That's this one. Uh, absolutely love this one. So perhaps we're going to make something with a swing tab. What do you think about that? And I still have this one. Well, I also can use this for every spot that I like. Um, Alright, so let's think about it just for a second. How to use a swing tab. Well, not how to use a swing tab, but mm -mm -mm. how do I like to use it? Um, it's some... Need a closure, of course. Do I want it sideways? The bottom. Okay, I think it would be nice Let's if we add a, um, a 4x6. It's just a 4x6 for a photo frame or something like that. So, what if I cut my papers at well, 6? And what if I make a few flippy flops? Not too much, otherwise it's going to be too thick. But just two, I guess, would be nice. So let me just burn this down. And on this side, and then just cut this. So this is six, yep, and then the other one is going to be four, six by four, and just make another one. So I'm going to make two six by four photo frames with the flippity flop. So what if I put this nicely in the middle and then the other one just to make a little... I'm just going to start with the first one, just glue this down in the middle, or shall I put one complete page, let me just think about it real quick before I already start with this one, I think it would be easier if I cut one piece of paper right now. Which one? I think I like this one or no, just keep it simple. I want to keep it simple. Simple as it can be. Okay, first of all I have to check this one. Which one did I use? I think I go for this one. This is a nice simple one. But not too much Hmm. Or the blue one. The blue one is the simplest ever. I don't like it. Yes. I am going to use the blue one. Do I like the stripes this way? Yeah, I'm going to use it this way, I think. No, I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I keep changing things. I know. <laughs> Tell me about that. Alright, so I am going to cut this whole sheet. I think that's the easiest way to do. We even can use an incision so we do not have saves of so much space also so what do you say so this is the one that fits on here let me check that out yep it does so I'm gonna put this away for just a second what if we just cut our way in here just like this so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna Eyeball this in the middle. Yep. And I'm gonna make 
make a line right here to here. Alright, so cut it open. Cut it open. Oh, that sounds awful. <laughs> Alright, let's check it out. Well, it's terrible if you don't see it. If I just cut small little piece off, so then it slides easier in. So I know that it's just a little too short. Just a little. we go. Now it's, yep, now it is fitting. Alright, yep, here we go. Alright, so that's that. I'm going to turn it over and I am going to put some glue on. If it's not closed. Oops, that was my finger. back see if I'm still so this needs to be flat and nice to be full um, folds back too now I do like to have some double-sided tape across this one right here now I'm just gonna apply another line just in case here we go That's one. Now I can keep it with the with one. That's also nice. So you still have a nice big spot. But you also can add another one if you like. Now what I like to do is put your hinge under this one right here. So you are perfectly straight with the other one. And that fits so much better also. So I'm gonna make a line too. And first I'm gonna just make two dots. I think that's even better. So I know exactly how far I need to be. All right, so open this up. And again, I am gonna cut that Where the marks are. Here we go. Again with this one also. Just a little corner away. Put it in. And again with this one, check, 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 oops, pull it out again, <laughs> that was not the meaning, but you can check if you are straight or you have in the right spot, let me put this away just a second, just play with it, just move it along till you have found the correct spot. For all of this. As you can see right here I am not completely in. Now I am. I think I can move this a little up. Yes, this is the spot that I was looking for. Alright, add some glue on. Not on the outside, but it's okay. Add some tape on. Everything is secure. Yes! Alright guys. That is what I was looking for. So we have now a nice left and right 
And then we can add this where we want it. So I think I like it here or well, even on the side way that fits perfect. So let's do that. Now this is gonna be thicker. So this definitely needs a spacer for this one. So you can make these also with uh, some chipboard to have a little bit more space. Okay. Now before I'm gonna do that, I am gonna put some design paper on. So I definitely know that I am um, thick enough, but I think I am. I don't think that I can be any thicker than with using a spacer. So let's just see if you like this. I think it does. Not too close. That's a good way. Yep, let's put it right here. Not too close, not too. Use your boat and your spacer if you have a spacer or a thin piece of chipboard will also do the trick. Open it up. And there you go. There you go. There is your little closure. So that is what we're going to use right here. So I'm going to decorate this and then I am going to put it in the album. Perhaps it would be nice if I use a nice little frame. I love doing that. Um, how about... Uh, 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 um, which one do you like me? Well, blue on blue, that's not nice. This one actually we did use this on the back of this page. Oh my god, I love this. Why do I keep coming back with that one? I already used this this combination, so that's that's a no-no. Shall we use this one then? Oh my gosh. Options. Oh, this is also nice to use. That is also cool to use. Yep, let's do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my piece so I can cut a little frame out of this. So this is the first thing that I do. Yep, and now I'm gonna cut one nice frame um, on here, all the way around, and I'll come back to you. Because, yeah, I think you all know how to do that. I'm gonna do the background. I am gonna use my ruler for this one. That's half inch will do. And then, when I'm done, I'm coming back to you. Alright. Why am I not turning off the camera? I am turn off the camera. People don't want to see you doing every little thing. They don't. Yep, I know. <laughs> Still needs to shut it down. But I just want to show you real quick that this is a very nice way to make a nice line. Alright, so I'm going to cut this, this out and then I'll do that um, of course. We just apply this. Work with me. Oh, there it is. 
<laughs> All right, so. Easy peasy. Alright, and now for the inside, well you do have a, um, a nice template which you can use. You also can use it just on uh, using it white, but I don't like that. So um, whatever you like to use in here, that fits perfectly of course. Um, what shall we do on the inside? Nope. I think I'll go for the... Which one do we have more? Oh, this one. This one fits perfectly. Alright, so I am going to use this little guideline to cut exactly the same one. That makes it a little easier, I guess. Here we go, cutting off the the, 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 yeah, the pencil mark. That was the word, the big word that I wanna, that I was looking for. Cut off the pencil mark. And now I even wanna cut it just a slightly smaller. So I have a nice black edge on the inner, yay, perfect. perfect. Keep it simple. So you still can add your picture, of course, on top. Or if you have a picture right away, then you should use it right away, of course. Always nice to add something on here or something like this. Also nice, but well, let me just think about it. Oh wait, now I don't know if I'm gonna leave the inside black, but definitely gonna put something on here. Just a well, I still can use this one and then do around it, but I uh, no, I don't like it. <laughs> All right, so what can we use? Well, I do can use no Diane. Choose another paper. Yes, I will choose another paper. <laughs> So, which paper? Well, you still can use this one if you like that. If you like using the same one, but I don't. Um, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I think I'll go with, uh, with this one. Hmm. Oh my gosh, we do have way too much choices. We have too much. Too much to choose from. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't choose. This one is too short. I know. Oh my goodness, which one do I like? Oh. I think I go for this one. It's a nice dark one. That's, I think, better. And it also has a great, 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 great background if you put your photo on here. So that is cool. So it gives a nice contrast for every picture that you put in there. Alright, give me some smoochy edges. Go, 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 go
go, go. Yeah, I think I will definitely leave the inside plain. So you can add, I do not like blank pages, but I think it's the best option for this one. I think it is. Um, otherwise it's, it's getting too fat already. If you know what I mean. So I think for now I will leave, leave oh my gosh, too many tools, too many tools. I don't like it. I have one rule here, I have another rule here. Just clean them up guys, clean them, clean them up. These are my four tools that I have always <laughs> in front of me. And anything else then I get. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, that's the best way I can, <laughs> I can express myself that I am getting a little, yeah, mm -mm. I don't want too much in, 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 in my area. Uh, get away, clean it up, too much space. Yes, all right, so I'm gonna put some glue on. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is on the right side, and of course, add some glue on your hinge too. Not too deep because you do like not too far away from your spine. Oh my gosh, Diane! <laughs> Of course, you need to put this uh, 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 on some paper. I was thinking, why is this too small? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I am crazy! <laughs> See, too many stuff on my desk makes me do strange things. <laughs> oh my goodness! Make me crazy, make me crazy, 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 crazy. Now I can, oh my gosh, now I can put this. Oh, I thought something was wrong here. Something was definitely wrong here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, put it on. Take your commands back. Back in track. Yes, I am back in track. Right. Glue it on, glue it on, glue it on. Glue it on. Okay, I'm just going to push things further. Everything is nice and neat. Alright, so what do you think about this last page? It's simple. Yeah, I think I like it. And you have a nice place for photos. And then, of course, a nice photo in here will be nice. I think I will keep this. No, I hate plain papers, but perhaps I am going to decorate it. I just, just don't know just yet. But for now, yeah, cool. So let's go to this side and what do you like? What do you like to see on, on here? Um, all right. What do we like to see? What do we already have? Well... Actually, I think I like it as plain as possible. I do like a big, a big page with some decoration, and we did right here. So yes, we need a simple page. What shall we do? Shall we do this one? 
or the blue one. Hmm. I think this one is nicer for a big page. I think it is. And the brown fits perfectly with the left page. Or do you think it's too much of this? Hmm. <sighs> Options. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't have that. Well, of course, I do have also still this one. That also would be nice. Yep, this or this way. No, I like it this way. So the page looks a little wider. So I make up. I made up my mind, and I am gonna use this one. Yep. Here we go. Now I don't think that I want to add anything in here. The only thing that might be nice is you can make a tuck spot. And that means that if I add something like this here in the corner, quite simple, but you still have a nice tuck spot. And the only thing that I like to do is make this a little better with an eyelet makes it not too thick I hope <laughs> all right here we go keep it oh it also snapped okay ooh well I don't think that is ugly but um i'm not gonna use a ribbon that makes it too thick so i'm just gonna glue down these two sides and i'm just gonna glue it down right here in this corner so you still can add or a large picture or one right here or you can put a loose thing in here or as a tuck spot all right so that is an option i just that makes it just a little more interesting i believe in my point of view so i am gonna glue this down make it simple that up so we can see where I glue this down. There we go. Simple as it can get. Is it? I think it is. Here we go. Yay! Cool. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And how is the thickness? Oh yes, it does. It's, it's perfect. I still, it still, it still fits, doesn't it? Let me check it out. Let me check it out. Does it still fit? Yes, it does. Hot chicken day. It fits. <laughs> yeah, cool. Nothing else is needed. It's thick already. And so I'm not going to add anything else in here. Um, only going to put design paper on the first page and on the last one and then it's done um, yep we added plenty 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 of um, pieces in here you can do a lot in here you can add a lot in here so I do have another one another piece right here to add in here if you like perhaps I'm gonna change this one this and then add well this is a booklet but what's happened here why is this glue down oh oh right I think it was not wide just completely all right but this fits nicely oh now it's dry <laughs> 
Alright, so yep. Um, lots of plays. Lots of, yeah. And, and if you think this is too thick, then of course you can leave uh, the cards out and put your photos in here or on the back. And um, Because I already like to add plenty of stuff in here. But if it's going to be too thick, then you can leave these out and just put your photos in. And so that's, yeah, I do love it. Nice, 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 nice. So we still have activity and still we have plenty of space. Cool. All right, guys. So I am going to decorate the inside and then I'll come back to you. But for me, it's time. It's time to think of the dinner. <laughs> Not the dinner, but to think of what we're going to cook today. So I'll come back to you the next morning and I hope you liked it so far today. It was a pretty much busy day today. Even had visitors of my mom. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I will definitely see you back next thing tomorrow and Hello. Okay, I did Hello. make <laughs> a few changes. Well, not a few changes. Um, I finished up quite and I was making the, fi the final last little thing on it and I want to show you just real quick an update so I choose for this papers for covering up this complete page keep it simple but I had this left and I could not resist making a little tuck spot for it um, for the west oh yeah these I also have left which I did not use so I made I cut out them nicely so I can put them in. So for the person who gets this still can use it. Same as this one. I think it's cute to uh, put it in. Um, for the tags that do not have anything like this to pull out. I added um, an eyelet in it. And I added a tin piece of ribbon in it. Just a little piece because we cannot put too many uh, outside here and I added a, a nice charm on here so that is yeah maybe it's not the best and the beauty um, <laughs> of making a tag but it's functional and well hanging this on this clock I think it's nice too um, but it's functional it's, it's easier to grab it out so you you can do it or you can or you can leave it but I think it's easier to pull these in and out so that is the change that I did and for the rest yeah I did the same thing on the other one also using a charm to hang out here and for the rest I think yep here we have a little tuck spot where I'd still not add something in here here on the back I used the blue Sherlock Holmes paper and then yeah I just could not resist this was my try out so if you like uh, adding another pocket to this um, with making this charm on here then just go back to the tutorials and make exactly the same pocket as this one so that is what, what I added right here on the back with a cute charm also on it so just uh, so yeah i have plenty 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 to use all right so now this is finished and it's still nice it's not thick or anything it still fits in the box but uh, i don't like the front so i was checking it out if i could not do anything on it so i think <laughs> i hope that i am gonna add a nice big um, I call this label on it and for the rest I will keep it clean but I was just playing around with it um, how to do that because I do not want anything um, sticking off so it will be destroyed or on any kind so I am just gonna put these on here and then I'm just gonna see how I can apply these. So, yep, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna cut these in the right order. Well, at least I'm gonna try to do that. But 
but I think glue it on. Well, actually, I don't want any bulk, so that is why I did not put these on on here. I don't want any bulk, so the easiest part were if I just put these on here, but I don't like that. So perhaps it's a good idea to just put these in the corners and then just glue them on. I think that's the best thing to do. To have still a nice round piece on it. Or shall I just, no, I don't wanna go on top. What do you say? Do you like this or do you think it's stupid? Hmm. All right, so I'm still not perfect idea. I'm still not, because I don't know if that's a good idea to put that in here. Um, I don't know, because yeah, it's it's kind, it's not too thick, but it, it fits perfectly. So everything what I put on top, maybe, just maybe, will not be, um, will not be good. So I think I'm gonna, just gonna leave it like this and I'm not gonna put anything on. So for that, um, for that, perhaps if I put this, there's the fourth one. Oh, it's at the bottom. Um, perhaps I'm just gonna leave it in, in, in the walls. But um, further than that, do I miss anything? The inside is done. Not putting anything in just yet. And then for the next compartment, it's done. And the dwarves is done. What do you say? I, I definitely like that the inside is just black. Um, and I'm not gonna put any papers in there. It's gonna be too busy, I think. Um, yeah, is it done, guys? I don't know. Is it done? I think it's done. Do I use everything that I want to use? Yeah, I think it does. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think it's done. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, is it? Is it done? Oh my. Yeah, I think it's done. Uh, how many papers do I have left for those who followed the tutorial? Well, not any full sheet. I do not have any full sheets left. I do have plenty of these sizes left. But that's it. That's it, guys. I still, yeah, I think this is the biggest size that I have left. So, yeah, I still... Yeah, you can make extra tags for it, but I think we can leave it like this to add your pictures in here. And um, yeah, maybe you can make something nice um, with if you have something extra. Perhaps you can make a nice little booklet for in the drawers or in the compartments or something like that. Um, yeah, maybe we can make something together just to see that we all use every single inches of the paper. But this is what I have left. So yeah, 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 yeah. You can make this complete set with the paper set. Oh my gosh. Okay, yep. <laughs> okay, I was not aware that I was already already finished. Um, yeah, all right. So I'm gonna see if I can make uh, if we're gonna make a, a, a little notebook together with just the paper, so um, yeah, perhaps that will be nice, just a little.